Hello, good morning. Once again, this is Hashim Whitmore will be the world's greatest barber.com. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for all the emails, the comments, all these, all this positivity that's been coming my way from the barber community. I really appreciate it. So I thank you, and I'm going to keep on giving you great information to help you be the best barbers out there. So uh, today, real quick, if you're in the shop and you're just sitting down waiting for clients to come, you know, it's you, you, you're in for a long career, and it might be kind of disappointing if you're not actually out there marketing yourself and getting out there, connecting with people, um, saying hello to people, um, really um, becoming interested in your community. The way this uh, business works is that, you know, just about in every city, there's a thousands of options and places where people can go get their hair cut. So when people come to you, they're not just buying in, uh, they're not necessarily buying into your skills or when you meet them out on the street, uh, they're buying into you. They want they, something about your personality, they want to give you the opportunity to show them your skills and maybe to win a client. So when you get a chance uh, and you're out there meeting people, I found that the key to get people interested in what you're doing is to be genuinely interested in what they're doing. You know, ask them questions about themselves, you know, and be genuinely concerned, excited, interested. They'll come to you and they'll ask you about what you're doing, and then you have the chance to get them into the shop. But once you get them to, to the shop, or you have somebody that might walk in one time and you gave a great service to, or somebody that you know that gives a great service to, uh, you know, it's about your, your follow-up. You know, what how are you following up with people? Are you connecting with people? Especially if you got downtime at the shop, that's the time where use your social media, uh, uh, either if it's Instagram, send somebody a message, how you doing? Uh, Facebook, uh, what's been going on lately? You know, uh, email, hey, this weekend's going to be real busy. I hope to see you soon. hope everything's going well. Um, and, you know, pick up the phone. You ever seen a client and uh, uh, maybe they're out of their, their sequence or it's been a couple weeks or it's been a long time since you talked to them. You know, pick up the phone, show some concern. Whether they're uh, going to come to you this week, next week, it might even be next year, but we're building relationships relationships here because when people choose a barber sometimes they choose a barber for life you know and they might stray they might have to go off they might be they might move out of town they might go off to college but they come back because one thing that uh, people can forgive a, a bad haircut if you give them a bad haircut but people never forget the way you made them feel the way you treated them so I encourage you to treat people to, to start connecting, become more proactive in your your outreach to people. You know, go out more, um, get out and socialize, meet, get out and um, become interested in your community and people that are walking by. You know, learn how to speak up, say hello to people, greet people when they come in to your shop. You know, if a uh, you know use a, a, a the five for five rule. That means somebody comes in, uh, if they're in there uh, within five seconds or five steps, say hello to them, introduce yourself, you know, uh, and they don't necessarily have to be your client, but you're welcoming somebody into your domain, into your, into your atmosphere, and be, be cordial and be polite, you know, and, you know, know that in this business, it's a people business, and this is a contact sport, so you're going to have to initiate contact so you can have, uh, so you can build dialogue, so you can build relationship, so you can build on top of those levels of trust because that's what it's all about. And you'll have clients that will only be with you for a lifetime. They'll pass on different generations of clients and different, and different circles of their friends to you. So I just want to encourage um, those ones that either that are not being being proactive or really don't know the steps to, to be proactive, um, please subscribe to this channel. I'm going to have some videos. I'm going to have some uh, PDFs, some different uh, products that you can, that we're going to come out, 
so that it can give you a step by step how to become more active in this community. You know, because some so many of the barbers don't even have their family or their closest friends coming to them, or or they're not uh, their family or closest friends are not referring them, and that is a no no. Everybody that is in your circle, especially your inner circle, should be should have some cards, should know what you're doing. You should be keeping them updated on your business and things like that. That way they can send referrals to you. And you call them and check on them and say, hey, if you know anybody that might need a haircut, please keep me in mind. You know, ask them if they would, you'd be the barber that they would uh, refer if somebody came to them. And if they say no, find out why. Because it's probably going to be something that helps you increase your skills, increase your, your clientele, and these people love you and they already care about you so you know it could be some honest, uh, you know, honest feedback without too much, you know, static and worrying about things. So, uh, definitely subscribe to the channel, send me any questions or comments that you may have so I can help you become better barbers and be, you know, the best out there. So, I look forward to talking to you soon and thank you once again for all the love, all the support and I look forward to talking to you soon.